didn't say fumble. Oh, that's why. <laughs> he, he's having what? trouble with his modifiers, apparently. Yeah, that doesn't make sense because you rolled a five. Yeah, and it rolled a five and gave him a fumble, so there might be something yeah. up there. Rolled 91 times one plus plus. Oh, when you put the 40 in, don't put a plus. When you're doing a plus, don't put a plus sign in there. Just type it in. You oh. Gotta, if it's a negative, yeah. I think that's that's why it's that's why it's screwing up. We're <laughs> sure, Chris. We're gonna give you your uh, five. Oh, just giving the fumble for the fun of it. Well, yeah. Uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll give you, we'll give you your crit, Chris. But could you try uh, putting in a forty modifier and clicking it just so we can see wh what it looks like if it's working for you? Oh yeah, that's sexy. Yeah. Cool. All right, so uh, did Alex Kinley manage to survive the climate plus 40? No. All right, so you guys all cross the bridge one at a time, um, and eventually you get to uh, uh, where the minecart tracks are. They look super old and like they haven't been used forever. You guys continue on, and eventually there's a seven-meter wide gap uh, with a pit into darkness that have rotting timbers with bent rusty metal tracks precariously crossing the hole. Um, so you've got a couple different ways. You could just say, fuck it, and try to balance beam your way across the minecart tracks that are the only things that bridge this hole, or you can attempt to uh, shimmy across them, or you could say, I think I can make an Olympic uh, uh, length jumping roll with a backpack of shit on. Mm. <laughs> he just dives in the hole. Fuck it. What a so, world. What a world. How would you like to go? Uh, you might. Depends on what you're doing. You tell so me what have you're doing. We, have we entered the new zone as yet? Uh, no, this is still, this is all one zone that you're in right now. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I wasn't too sure because of the railway. I wasn't sure if the, the mine tracks were part of the Women's Wild West. I will get back to you. So, uh, you're shimmying, you said, Alex. Give me a climb of plus 10% as you're doing this, slow and safe. Yes. Great. Um, I, I would have thought some of you guys would have put a rope across here by now. I've I been here once not, before. Once. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it's not a place you guys would we, keep we coming come to. Hmm. So, how would you R2 like to cross it? As carefully as possible. Give me a climate plus 10% as you carefully fucking shimmy across it. Clutching those fucking... Get the room. Yeah, Chris, uh, Doc, good, good thinking, Alex. Put the feather fall ring on. Um, is that something that you can try to activate, or it is what we got off the of Marlon Brando? Right, it takes a long time to activate it, so it yeah. doesn't really matter. I was gonna oh, say, if, if you fall over a hundred meters, then uh, you know. oh, yeah, it depends on depends on if it's a high magic. Yeah, it depends on the magic zone type. Of magic I'm gonna, zone, sh I'm just gonna shimmy across. Climb at ten, plus ten. Uh, what was I doing? That was what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It makes it look easy. And you make it look easier because fuck it. So you guys are all across. And uh, in the distance, eventually going through more tunnel, you see a faint light and hear a regular howling noise. You say fuck it and continue on. Uh, you eventually come to a boarded up mine that has enough boards that were covering the broken shaft or the shaft broken away to easily go in or out. Uh, this puts you on top of a hill in an evergreen forest. It's snowing. The snow is waist high, higher in some places, and it is cold as fuck. You guys put on more of your uh, special gear that will keep you safe, and you discover, yes, indeed, Logan was fucking with you. The mine is a part of this. <laughs> so I'm going to cast phase on myself. Hold on a second. Let me look up the magic thing here real quick. Uh, 
Okay, and I'll take Wild West cards. Yes, we are. Everybody already got the cards. So where's my tech level? There it is. Mm -hmm. Right. Give me a willpower roll times one, Chris. Holy shit. Nope. Okay. There's your answer with magic. So the tunnel went so when we're climbing down the ladder all that is actually part of the arctic wild west or is there yeah. two zones strictly speaking no, it's all part of the arctic wild west the okay. mine is a part of the arctic wild west part way down letter ladder is where the uh where you got your tarot card so like halfway down ladder it's like Ta -ding, tarot cards yeah yeah so we didn't need to come all this way well, you you've uh, you wanted to you yeah you've got you've gotten more information. <laughs> we want information. Yeah, yeah information. Yeah. Well, we can always scout around and see what kind of vehicles or what kind of, like what we could use while because this is where we're in a springboard anyway. Yes, yeah, so right. yeah. like yeah. it's looking like we could go all back to the future. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> use a train. True, true. Where, so there's a town nearby or something where the women were hanging out? Uh, yes, although uh, you can't quite see it from here, nor do you see any convenient smokestacks or any of that shit. However... Do you two uh, recall whereabouts it is from here? Not far. Uh, yeah, it, it's... It, Fortunately, you guys are in the cool Arctic shit, so when you fail your uh, uh, navigation or direction sense rolls and wander around, you're not going to be taking damage like you would if you are in 1950s clothes or even more damage like you would if you were not dressed in cold weather clothes. So uh, who would like to be the, uh, the guide here that has been to this town before? Which of you two? Uh... Uh, <laughs> Chris? I had him in. All right. All right, Hold on. <laughs> Fuck is that skill? My navigation's not too bad. No more tracking, so. There are no tracks at all here, unfortunately. Mm. And yes, I have a bubble map to the zone as well. Everywhere's bubble. I can try to navigate to the location. Do you want to assist me in our as we get the lay of the land here? Hmm. Is it, or is it just worth going to a high point? And well, last time you could see, uh, I believe, smoke or something or light or something like that from the town, but now there is none. Dun, 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 dun. I'm, quite, I'm quite good at navigation, but I don't know where we're going. So. It's, yeah, no problem. I, I, neither apparently does Fulton. He just wanders around with you for a while. Um, I get wrong to say, uh, Doc, you're going the wrong way. It's that way. Sure, you can give that a try. Navigation. Yeah. After a couple hours, you're like, no, no, you suck. Uh... Land navigation got it by negative thirty. He, he he just points you on the shoulder. Doc's like looking in a tree, going here. <laughs> he's like, no, there. There's a whole big building right next to it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys find the remains of an old West style town. Most of the buildings have collapsed, and the rest will soon, due to snow piling up on the roofs. Um. Yeah, it looks like this place is totally abandoned, and it seems to be uh, collapsing and decay and whatnot. Uh, whereas there used to be like large, comfortable hotels with fireplaces and maybe even some wood and shit left to warm back up. That shit's gone. It, it's all buried under probably literal tons of snow. Uh, there's shattered buildings and stuff. There's a couple of smaller buildings that you could still use, but. You you can tell it's only a matter of time before those are fucked. Whereabouts was the character sheets on here now? So at where the where you roll your dice at the top there you've got the five icons. 
yeah. the second icon that looks like a newspaper that when you put your mouse over it says journal. journal. So if you click on that, you should have a thing that says characters and like a half person with probably some gobbledygook next to it. My name. <laughs> yep. I put in people's regular names just to, so I keep track of who got a sheet. They can reassign the names. Yep. Okay. Right, yeah, right. Right. So click on that. Okay. It can also then, be stretched out and shit, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the top left corner, I think, you've got like the two squares overlapping each other. If you click on that, it'll then bring it out of the um, roll 20 frame. So it's like a separate window. Oh, sweet. For if those next, listening to this, I will, uh, the, I will cover up Logan's face and try and work on this while playing at the same time. Okay. Good luck. It's a lot of shit to put in, but that's I okay. need a bigger box for aliases. <laughs> <laughs> or if you uh, leave it in if you leave it in the roll 20 and i think it's got your name at the top if you double click on that it actually shrinks the sheet right down and then you can double click on it to expand it again right now uh since matt got a uh fucking uh navigated negative 30 and shit uh from here you can go a couple of different ways uh on the old bubble map uh one is you could head toward the ridge the ridge at the uh that's where you get to the smurfs area and shit or you go into the uh different area which i have entitled the trackless wastes of an arctic hell also known as um just fucking white death this is the kind of place where finding a white walker would not be an uncommon thing Somebody else got to pick up the brain ball because Matt's doing shit. Uh, can't wait. Uh, before we leave the town. Uh huh. Now, my understanding is that there was a cleanse here. Whereabouts do we want to see if we can restore him? That's a really good question. You find a collapsed, fucked up building filled with snow that maybe used to be a cleanse. Uh, give me a luck roll, Pete, since you're the one who brought this up for. Uh, what Lower is better. Give me a sexy luck roll for extra sexy stuff. Yep. Uh, uh. Fail. You don't even find the remains of the barber shop. There's just yeah. I'll, I will. I will spend one hero point. Oh, no, don't do it. Being able to resurrect Clems here would be very useful. Mm -hmm. If it, if it's even possible. If it's even possible, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why. That's it all true. <laughs> Perfect. So, uh, yes, no problem. I know what to do. Yeah, great. Right. So, you guys wander around uh, poking at stuff. Uh, you find a couple of uh, frozen bodies and stuff of just random people that you don't know but other than that not anything really great i mean like i said there's a couple of smaller buildings you could take shelter in and uh you know stuff like that if you needed to but those are not long for this world so it just looks abandoned like how long does it look like people have been gone uh hard to say i uh, i will take a natural history role to uh, uh figure that out due to the weather being the main factor natural history huh yeah all right hmm. um a couple hundred years is your guess Alex made or Joshua McKay made his. Yes, but you didn't tell him what you were going for. You just looked around and stuff, so that would be meta Which is why I didn't state. I made it all fun. <sighs> all right, well. This place sucks, you think. There's not even any strip clubs or lap dances here. What? Yeah. That really sucks.
you guys stand there in your Arctic suits. Uh, Does it look like people just got up, like picked up and left, or? Hard to say. You don't see a, a couple. Aside from a couple of uh, icicle bodies, you don't really see any signs. Uh, looking around, you do see some like uh, bullet holes and stuff in some of the uh, remaining buildings. I don't know what that tells you. Well, if they have food still out, like someone was making meals, or if there's food like in their storage things no. that are going to waste. Uh, there, uh, there could be some un hidden under tons of snow, but it's hard to say. As Chris, so there's a ton of snow in each building. Uh, well, like I said, only two or three of these small buildings have survived. The rest have all collapsed because if you don't get the snow off of your roof, then the weight just continues piling up until uh, if it's weakened older wood, then that shit collapses. That's why people shovel their roofs and stuff in like Germany and stuff, even though they know how to build a house. Uh, okay. All right. So we're the without, without snowshoes or some sort of modern thing, getting here was just a fucking epic workout struggle. I mean, I, I know you guys have all gone through waist high snow before. Well, maybe Pete has. I don't know. Nope, I have not. It sucks a cock. It's it, it's like uh, struggling through the wa waist high water, mm -hmm. but less fun. Okay. Um. Well, do they have any? Uh... Hmm. I guess I, I'm trying to look for, like, so it was a town, so there was a store where... Uh, there might be one somewhere under the snow. The snow is really pretty much reclaimed shit. So, like, Shuma, so I don't know, maybe when the bandit, the women bandits left here and went to Burlington, they killed the remaining survivors... Or if those that hadn't fled, I don't know. Or other PCs came and did it. There's just yes. no telling. <laughs> yes, or other PCs came and did it. That is true. Or other Doras or or yeah. or Smurfs. Who knows? Yes. There is nothing else of interest or value. If there was anything, you're pretty sure McKay has kicked it into a pit and then filled in the pit with snow. Mm-hmm. And he seems rather happy about it. <sighs> I had plans if you'd gotten a good luck roll, too. Plans, Pete. I know, I know, but... <laughs> they, the dice didn't like me. No. So, there you go. You guys stand there for a long time. It, it recreates the uh, scene out of the movie The Gamers where they come to a river and it just keeps showing different camera angles of them standing there staring at it, wondering about it. You guys are doing that in the Arctic uh, <laughs> right now. All right. So the ridge over there is where you go to Smurf City, which we don't particularly want to go to. No. To the city place. Mm -hmm. There may be other shit to discover and require going and looking at it. I mean, you guys are relatively comfortable. You've got fucking cool Arctic tents and like um, little tech things and stuff that you haven't tested out to make fires and shit like that. Uh, I'm talking better than the magnesium strip. You've got like electronic fire makers and stuff as well as the magnesium strips. You guys have kitted out on the Arctic survival. You so, can survive yeah. here for maybe a week. Mm, yeah, right gonna, around that. I'm going to try out some of the modern tech gear we've got just to see if it still works. Or if, um, it, or well, if because Can you give me an example of something you're using so I can tell you what happens with that? Uh, the fire lighter. Sure. I was going to say, you probably also have battery-operated mittens you can try out. Yeah, yeah, yeah or like a magnet. Or like a a, a um a light a torch. Yeah, those things work with no roll whatsoever. Okay, so they yeah they just appear to work. Beautiful. Oh yeah, lovely. No no fuss no muss on uh, the the tech things. I mean, uh, yeah, uh, Alex Kinley won't use the uh, battery operated glove things, but you know. Yeah yeah. 
it was more just to just in case because it's a different technology level that it glitches or something yeah not even a stutter lovely good good mm -hmm. so now you've gotten a handle on that mm. all right so do we head back to the mine shaft and back into Burlington and use Clems to get a vehicle? So before get a vehicle for like of what kind? Like hmm. Yeah. So oh that's the thing, we'd probably generally need to go to Saint modern San Angeles and try and get hold of a modern vehicle that can handle these sort of conditions. Um I mean, if the tech level seems to be have increased here. No, well, there doesn't appear to be any interference with using higher tech here. It's just magic. It's very magic um, resistant. I pull out my lightsaber. Does it turn on with no problem? Uh, you got that in a pocket? Magic pocket? No. Oh. Yeah, yeah. He pulls out his lightsaber. Vroom, 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 vroom. That should cut through the snow, you think? <laughs> if only we had a tauntaun, then we could just cut it open and you know chill inside there. You could do that. Or, or, the, or we could just ride him across the snow. When... Yeah, a, a tauntaun would be great if anybody knew how to ride one. But like I said, you could always slice Alex open and then stuff McKay inside of him. <laughs> 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 you know, he, thought he smelled bad on the outside. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's just wild. All right, all right. Um, oh, was there anything else in this in this, in this ruins of town? Eve review? Do you want to check out? Uh, I wanted to see if the pole was still at Clem's somewhere. Take well, a card, Chris. Uh, if it was. It has managed to be shoved into the deepest, darkest chasm of the sea or whatever by McKay yeah. because he loves you. I had no luck in finding Clems. That, that was, that was the that cool treasure that you're going to find is, if nothing else, a barbershop pole, which could be all kinds of interesting. Yes. <laughs> the look on Pete's face. <laughs> Just blow that out and put that <laughs> on a t-shirt. <laughs> the scowl. <laughs> ah, my nipples hard. Yeah. We we could continue to like, and it's been so long that like it doesn't even look like there's any trail of where people have gone. Clearly, so. No, it looks like uh, several feet of snow have fallen since then. Um, I, hmm. But like I said, you could go exploring if you wanted to. I mean, I we have the gear for it. We have the food for it. Like we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking we could use our glasses if we can get them to work to see if we can see Clem's hole. <laughs> 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 Naughty boy. And one step closer to VR sex. Woo! <laughs> uh, it feels Pete, like magic. Pete, take a take a card for a uh, clever fucking idea. Uh, who would like to risk their glasses? Because you know that could being in such a heavy anti magic zone could fuck with the glasses. So who wants to risk theirs? All righty then. Yeah, I'm happy to risk my. I was the one who suggested it, so I'll risk mine. I'm happy to get a narrow fumble okay. from you. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are. Sure. Uh, go ahead and give me a willpower roll there, Pete. Uh, you can keep trying until you either get a fumble, ha ha ha, or a success. Yeah. Sorry, just trying uh, to or run out of. Or run out charge. of charges because each each attempt will suck a charge regardless if it works or not. Yep. I was just trying to. There they are. There's my list of charges. Mm -hmm. How many charges do you have left? 41. 
You got 41 rolls to try. Because I got, got the glasses recharged. Always a good idea. As you know, I got the thing replaced. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, new Chris. Uh, one. I'll use up. I'll use. I'll do five. Okay. Two. Ooh, three. Annoying. Four. Five. No, can't get him to work. All right, I'll try mine then. <gasps> And that's it. Just shows a nuclear bomb test coming up. I was just picturing him standing there with black around his eyes and his hair. All... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's pretty much what the glasses explode, sending shards off in all directions and making his hair standing up and covering him in blackface, which is very politically incorrect. <laughs> and then he gets a good kicking from you guys for being so politically incorrect. The look on Chris's face. I can tell if, this is going to be a good session for Logan. If you click the actual, like where it says willpower or learn or essence, it actually does it by one. Yeah, but still, we know. No, by right. two. It doesn't have a by one. No, no. You oh, click, if you click, click willpower itself. Yes, yes. If you click willpower itself. I would still All like right. it to say times one just to make it more obvious. I'm going to spend a pause so my shit doesn't explode. Aww. And blind you. Mm -hmm. Logan, blind. Logan will blind you otherwise. He, he I wants know. to be blind here. Yeah. Oh, God, nice. Damn. Well done, sir. Cool. By the way, uh, on the willpower, etc. cetera, rolls, uh, I, please, please get success, failure, crit, fumble thing on there. Because it tells you what it is, but I don't care. I, I'd rather have it in the same format as the other one where it says, you know, red fumble or whatever, as opposed to listing out all the stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, Chris, take a check in willpower. You are mighty as shit. Now, give me a spot at negative 30 to actually see. as you are the only one who can do it. It's up to you! So now I would do negative 30? Spot, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's buried under a lot of off. shit. No problem, it just shows you go cross-eyed. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any magic around at all, Chris. Okay. Not even your friends. Good. Yeah. Are we done here? Can we leave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Um, does that. anybody want a first aid plus 20 card? No, thank you. No worries. Doc Fulton seems happy. Fumble, fumble. Yeah. This is a fucker of his own. Nobody likes this place. Do you want to just, are we going to explore around? We can. Well, I don't care if we wander around. I, I, my fucks are given currently. <laughs> Fair enough. Want yeah, to follow the train tracks at least? There are no yeah. train tracks. Those are just minecart tracks. Oh, well, I don't know why I thought train. Uh, anyway, let's go. West, uh, let's go uh, north. East. Let's go east. All right. Uh, it so is quite possible, are... possible that there's nearby stuff we could find if we explore. We've certainly got the gear to explore a little bit. Who would like to be the primary on the luck roll to just find shit? Sure. Uh, everybody else, roll to support him if he'd like your support. I don't even, where sure. the fuck is luck now again? It moved, didn't it? It at the top right hand side, of course. Ah, got it. Yeah, it didn't support. Rolling crap today, aren't we? Oh, and you rolled your luck roll there, Chris. So. Yep, yeah. Cool. Yeah, you guys wander around. Um, yeah, you don't find anything real interesting, and you get bored of wandering around after a couple hours. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, if you've got a base and a skill, what do you do? Just leave it. Just put the, still put the value in, right, of course? If um, you've actually got the skill, as in you've made it once and you've got it at base? You mean? Well, you, you, if you even if you try it for the first time, it's still going to be at 
you're learning a pace, right? Well, don't yeah, put but it if in. your learning changes, right. it, yeah, yeah, right. But if you click it and you haven't put a value in, what what happens? It will it will take whatever your learning is because it oh, okay. that at learn thing means it'll um, grab whatever your learns your right. your learn is currently at and use yeah, that. That makes, that makes things a lot easier. Oh yeah, yeah. He did a nice job on this. So you guys wander around for a couple of hours and you're like, eh. and yeah, you're, you're pretty exhausted uh, wading through this fucking uh, deep ass snow sucks a cock. It's cold as shit. You guys are all wearing your cool Arctic goggles and stuff like that. Yeah. Get the fur around the face. You're still cold through all this shit, but not like freezing to death and taking damage. So that's a bonus. Alex, from your time here, do you recall if there was anything of interest outside the town besides the where the Smurfs are? No, uh, I hated this town. It was horrible. It was everyone just wanted to leave the moment they got here. Okay. Big butch women trying to kick your ass and. Yeah, freezing cold, everyone dying of starvation, freezing. It's horrible, horrible place. Mm-hmm. Especially <coughs> now that the bar's down and there's no alcohol. Mm-hmm. It is, it is suspiciously awful here. Yeah, the fact that it's continually... It, every time somebody's mentioned being here, it's waist-high snow and snowing. It's like it's in this perpetual state. Of yuckiness. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys do? All right. Did we want to head back to the mine tunnel and back to Bellington? I'm assuming we're not going to we're not going to wander for several days trying to walk shadows from here. With our current okay. gear, we want to get a vehicle or something. Yeah, you're not, you're I, not I would sure. rather go find like civilization here, so we can find out how we can travel around. Because unless you guys know how to uh, uh, dog sled, um, it doesn't really fucking matter. Because no vehicle that we can use will work here that any of us have know how to drive. True. So unless we find something flat that we can actually drive on, then we're walking. So. Hmm. Um, I know Alex knows how to fly a a blimp or whatever, kind of. <laughs> so, uh <laughs> yeah, yeah, fair enough. Um, Is it on on fifth punch, right? I guess. Yeah. I yes. don't know. Uh The only other thing I could f I could say is like if we could find water here, like. Like the ocean is still going to be usable here, so yeah, yeah, true, possibly. True. And I think we all know how to, you know, pilot boats at least a little bit, mm -hmm. much more than we know. Like it'd be better than walking; it would not take as long. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's that's... still probably going to be treacherous as fuck. But I mean, at this point, I think no matter what we do, it's going to be treacherous as fuck. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just so you know, uh, you since you guys have already been to Amber once, uh, the route to Amber kind of unusual in that it's all over land. So we need to find Kane and beat him to find out how he does it on boats. Okay. Quite possibly. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the wonderful nature of the place we have, we've found ourselves in. Take card, Pete. It is quite possible it's the wonderful nature of etc. So, Ah, uh, what do you do? Yes, it's a pity because I did like your over the water idea. Yeah, that would well, be quite quite good to do. There, there are ways and there are ways. So, it's up to you yeah, guys yeah. to find the clever ones. So, I mean, the, we don't even know where this. All we, besides knowing this town is Arctic, we've got no idea how close it is to the coast or anything. Whether or not it's um, and it has to like we can't use boats though. I don't. I don't understand um, why we wouldn't be able to. Because it, 
the special nature of this particular path, you know, like one way to amber, it'd be like, um, you're not going out and finding a shadow of desire, which is a higher level of power than you guys have, which is the basic shadow walking to already known place. So essentially, it's it's like saying, why can't I take a boat from uh, Chicago to Springfield? Because you can't. There's no there's no water thing. It it seems to be some weird special thing here. So, yeah, I'm just telling you, it's overland shit. But you're not sure of exacts, but you will get it as you go because it's adventure. But like I said, there's there's all kinds of different ways, and if you discover the way, you may face palm yourself. I do not know. Those tennis racket looking snowshoes that people wear, does they do they take a particular special skill to use or no, but um it's they they are slow and painful. It's just slightly less painful because you still okay. sink like a third of a meter into the snow each step. I okay. mean it's fucking exhaust. Now if everybody had like cross country skiing, you can make some serious fucking uh yeah, headwear. Yeah, yeah. But I'm willing to bet that nobody has that skill. Mm, I think it'd be that would be a pretty safe bet. Yeah. I've thought of a couple of different possible solutions, one of which would make this just fucking all the problems go away. But it's, uh, yeah. Who knows what the players have come up with? That's the interesting part. Electronic repair, and I actually looked at the skill. I'm like, you idiots. <laughs> By the way, you might want to ask Pete because he mentioned there's a way of re rearranging uh, right end skills and shit like that. Yeah. Basically, or, if you hit the. I can see that you, you can add skills, Colin. Yeah, yeah, but if you've written, if you've say you've got ten writing skills that you've added, you can hit the modify button and you can drag them about if you want to rearrange the order of them. Oh, sweet! Yeah, they did some high functionality shit there. Yeah, because that way you can it'd be nice to keep them all in alphabetical order or something like that. Uh huh. How have I not got a gambling skill? That just mm -hmm. seems weird. Mm -hmm. Alex is obviously not a big gambler. Or he is, and he just sucks at it, and everybody likes gambling with him. I guess so. So, did you guys want to stand in the cold for a few days and see how long you can hold out, or? I mean, you could go back and let somebody else try to do the random exploring and shit, because I think it was Chris that fucked his luck roll. Somebody oh, else really? could try it. I thought I got my roll. I need to say. For... Exploring shit? For, for looking around. I thought we were trying to find what we already gone through that. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought Chris had given up in bitter, bitter disappointment. Okay. Eventually, you guys uh at the same in the same ridge as uh the Smurf thing, but far further away from it, you guys find like uh a cave, and then further down is a different cave. Is that a new cave? Um, and these are separate to the cave that goes to where the Smurfs are? Yes. The, I'm not even discussing the Smurfs. I know nobody wants to go there. Um, so two, two caves off the ridges, yeah? Yeah, that you can see from where you're at. There could be more. Yeah. It's all right. I'm just making a note on my very basic bubble map. 
But isn't there a portal in Smurfville that if you go through, you can go wherever you want? Oh, yeah. Of course. Isn't that in the isn't that in the Gilgamesh's tower or something? It's the book, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we've done it before. It's oh, a nightmare, but fuck's sake. You try and tell me we're here about the fucking Smurfville. Everybody now, hates that if... they keep going back. It's weird. I think you have to. I'm not making you. I've got whole new places. I've got a cave in front of you and a cave over there that you haven't even investigated. I'm not. I'm not the one saying you we need will to go investigate there. the cave on the left. No problem. You guys head in there. Give me mining rolls or geology rolls or both. Uh, geology, I have. Weird. Mm. <laughs> Alex has, Alex is like, we can get cupcakes out of this. Give me, ah, he can claws off some rocks. My this, mining, this sorry. I make my geology roll. Now mining. I hmm. don't think I've ever made mining. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. not bad at geology. Okay. Uh, no, no good in the mining roll though. But yes, I make my geology roll. Hmm. With your geology, you guys head in there, and as you're going through, it's a pretty, pretty big place. It looks like a played-out gold mine, but your geology is telling you it's played out for some moron with a pick. Other ways of extracting gold, like, well, you're, you're Australian. You know all, all kinds of shit that they do to extract gold. Mm -hmm. May prove so, more. Yeah, using more modern technology or using things uh -huh. like the acids and stuff that they can use to extract gold and whatnot right those may give different results um however going through you eventually find uh some crude structures in there and broken mining tools <laughs> shit like that it looks like at some point in the past this place has been abandoned uh there's there's some uh skeletons in there uh, a lot of the skeletons have holes in the skull, small holes, uh, usually one each. Um, but it, it looks like at some point uh, uh, there was some sort of like idiots with picks type mining operation going on here. And that all went away. And it looks like this place was abandoned. There's nothing useful or valuable in here. Although... Uh, looking around this cave, it, it would make a, if you wanted a secret base, this is about a, you know, you got to go for like three or four hours out of that fucking town to the ridge, down the ridge, shit like that in order to get here. So... Okay. This on new base. Yeah. Hey, if you wanted a really secret base, this is this is pretty fucking secret what here. Unless, in here? Is it, is it like a bit warmer? It's it's like living in an ice box. I mean, if you if you were to uh, get like uh, stoves and shit like that in here, or electrical heaters or whatever, you could make it. You could make it quite nice, but just hanging out in here, no, it sucks ass. Alex, this is your new home until you lose the yellow ability. Yay. <laughs> Card for me. Um, All right. Do we want to check cave B and also keep an eye, since we're actually here at the cave, see if there's any other caves about? Yeah, let's check the next set of caves. No problem. Uh, you head over there. And you're going in and going down it really carefully. And eventually, uh, you come to this, this like, imagine just normal cave. You guys have got your flashlights on. And you see a very light blue haze uh, in a plane across uh, uh, one of the caves. Like, uh, you're thinking magical gate, you know, walk through this type thing. No idea if it's one way, two way. 
I shall cast, attempt to cast, I should say. Uh-huh. Uh, identify gate. Sure, give me that willpower times one roll. Magic is does, is real. You're just hallucinating. Uh, where is identify gate? There it is. <clears throat> Oops. Uh, character willpower. Actually, no. Um, I shall not attempt to cast identify gate because right. I realised. No, no. It just occurred to me that we lost all our magic points right at the start of the mission, and we haven't. I was slept curious since. on this. I figured the R two would make you into a sleigh of some sort. I was looking at, hmm. No, that's not going to work out the way I wanted to. It, I would if, like to cast identify gate, and unfortunately, if you if you try a spell right now, you will end up unconscious on the ground. Yes. And then the R2 will be like, now we have to make a fire. And then they'll chop you up, make a fire out of you, and, you know. Well, we could make sleds out of the frozen corpses. True. Uh, okay. Does anybody know how to use a sled? So I'm guessing neither of you encountered this gate here previously? This is new. Uh... What? No. All right, shall we? Or do we want to explore further? Good question. There's no telling where you'll go, if you'll be able to get back anything. You guys, all, it just shows the camera panning back slowly as you're all standing in front of the gate. <clears throat> let's let's just go because right. I don't think any of us really want to be here anymore, and it doesn't look like there's much good. No, here. no, no, and none so, of us can think of. Yeah, none of us seem to be able. To, none of us can think of a way of traveling through the snow easily to allow us to try and get through, get through to Amber Shadow Walk. They, it, just just FYI, I do know of a bunch of different ways, so I didn't just make an yeah, unsolved yeah, yeah. problem. Um, okay, cool. Because uh, I've got it all planned out. It's about days. So, uh, you guys go from that place to a different place. Where is your destination place? Really? What? We walked through the gate. Oh, you did? Sorry. Yes. I thought when you I said, thought... where is your destination, please? I thought, oh, that's interesting. We're getting prompted just where we want the gate to go. Cool. No, no. I, I thought you guys were like ignoring the gate and leaving. My bad. All right. You guys go through the gate and may God have mercy on your souls. So, hey, there's a bit of good news. More tarot cards rain down into Pete's hands from the other two, tossing them out contemptuously at him. Um, let's see. Here they are. Okay. Uh, Doc Fulton would have had the Ace of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. Alex Kinley would have had the Four of Swords and, of course, the Devil. Yeah. And McKay would have had the magician and the sun. Okay. Uh, Doc, Alex, me. Cool. So you guys head on through there, and I uh, you you are in some sort of natural tunnel of some sort. In the distance, you see a flickering light. You see, or you, sorry, you hear, oh, by the way, when you came through the gate, it's still there behind you, flickering and blue and shit. You hear several high-pitched voices and one deep voice, uh, deep one's male, too far away to make out, though. Uh, um, shall it, we creep? It, yeah, yeah. 
Um, is it nat is the cave still natural or is it natural? Natural. Uh, everybody, give me sneak rolls or stealth rolls, please. How well? How much light is there ahead of us? Enough to see by. Unfortunately, so can, uh, as in turning off our torch, we can turn off our. Yes. Our Unfortunately, torch. I believe Alex may have just kicked uh, a, a live cat that he no, managed to find. Me. Really? That's a success. Oh my Christ! I won. Wow. Okay, so Ninja Boy, it shows him just step over the cat, picks it up, strokes it, puts it down. Yeah. Uh, Fulton, Fulton, you're not sure where he is, but you have a feeling he's close. Shows him behind you with a knife at your throat <laughs> as you're sneaking. Uh, how'd, <laughs> how'd McKay do? I failed. All right. It shows him setting down the cat, and then you go, yeah. I didn't, I didn't fumble. 